What is going on everybody and welcome to part 14 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we are going to take our current menu that we made and just style it a little bit, make it a little bit more unique to this game mode, and then that'll basically be about it for this part. So let's go ahead, get started here. We want to be working in this portion here. And underneath the set delete on close, we want to do something called menu dot paint and we want to set this equal to function opening closing and then an end and what this is going to do is everything in between this function and end line is going to have all the code that's going to paint our menu in whatever way we want to we can set the color of the menu we can set the uh, text for the menu and all that other fun stuff before we get into actually painting this thing i want to change a few values here this includes the width, which I want to set to 750. And since we changed the size here, I need to change the position of it as well. So this 250 needs to change to half of the width, which is 325. And all that should look good. Let's go ahead and test it in game real quick. And mess something up somewhere. Oh, and it's just because of the paint focus here. we got to fill this out first before anything shows up. So let's do that now. I'm going to be using something called surface here and all of its functions. So there's the surface dot set the draw color. This will set the color of whatever is going to be drawn underneath it. So I'm going to set this to a dark gray, 60, 60, then full on alpha, 255. So now whenever I do stuff such as surface dot draw rect, it's going to set the color to whatever this is until I change it. So I'm going to want to create a rect here, surface.drawRect, and this is going to be at the x value 0, the y value 0, which is the top left of the menu, and I want it to be the width and the height of our menu, and we do this using a uh, function, such as menu colon get wide, that'll give us the width, and then comma, menu colon get tall, that'll give us the height. Now the reason I'm not doing 750 in place of the get wide and 500 in place of the get tall is because if I were to ever change these values to something else, I don't want to have to change it here as well. With this, I only need to set it once up here and it'll work in both places. But anyways, let's go ahead and test this out now. F4, and as you can see, our menu has showed up and it has our own custom color, no longer that default light gray. Next up, I want to do a border here which will just be right underneath the title of our menu here, which is the game mode menu. It'll be right underneath it, just to separate things a little bit. So we do this by doing a new surface dot set draw color, and this will be a darker gray, 40, 40, 40, and full on alpha. Then we want to do a, another draw rect, surface dot draw rect, and this one will be at the x value 0. I want it to start at the far left of the menu. And comma, I want it to be y value of 24. Because I want it to be moved down 24 pixels. And this will allow it to be right underneath that menu. Instead of it being at the way top of the menu. Then I want to do the width of it. Menu colon get wide. Because I want it to take up from the far left. All the way to the far right of our menu. And then I want the height of it to be 1. Since it is just a border, it only needs to be 1 pixel tall. Let's go into here, press F4, and as you can see, if you look closely, we have that border right underneath our game, game mode menu title. So that is going to conclude this part. Just a small little part, just customizing our menu just a little bit. And in the next part, we will, we will be adding some custom buttons to this that we can also customized to our liking with this paint function that we learned about today. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.